Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this video is just to answer a comment. You know, I'm used to stupid things. I mean, I always hear stupid things. I always see stupid comments. And they are endless. But sometimes you feel like, you know what, you cannot take it. I mean, there's many you ignore them and there's many you cannot. And today is one of those you cannot. A person, he posted a comment. And he said, his name is Raymond. The funny you call yourself Raymond, you are European, shame on you. What a stupid European you are. If you are not European and you call yourself Raymond, that means you are stupid because you are attacking European. If you are European and you are attacking European, that means you are, you know, self-stupid. Twice. Look what he said. At the moment 10, 11, 17, I said, as you say, the Bible says, from their fruits, you shall know them. Then what has been the fruit of the Christians, European led empire countries, mass land theft, e.g. USA, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, etc. With genocide of native near extinction, enslavement, theft of resource, and now suddenly Christians remember Jesus thought peace. You see, you just you just nailed yourself, and you gave yourself that the answer. This is how stupid you are. So I was not exist at that time. And who said to you that the Christians at that time did not remember that Jesus taught peace? So if a king he go and make an invasion, that king is the one who represent the Christians. That's it. He's Jesus now. So you see how stupid you are. Secondly, genocide you are talking about, like as an example, America, you go and read the history. The Indian, they were killing each other to the point almost nothing left of them. The Indian, though, you know, I saw many documentary, etc. The documentary say clearly that Indian, they used to chop the head of each other. Even they are the one who used to take the skin of the head off of the head. How savage. They used to take the women of each other, rape them. So when you talk about those European who went to America, we think, okay, those Indian, they were living like angels and they are sheep and those European, they are savage. They came and they take their land. That is not what happened. The first American who came to America, they were themselves refugee of discrimination. And the second they landed in America, they start, the Indian, they start attacking them. And this is how the war started. They could not understand each other. There is no communication. There is no language. Otherwise, those who came to America, they were not really people coming for war. They are coming running away from Europe. So when you talk about empire, let us talk about empire. Let us talk about empire. The European occupy my land in the Middle East. I wish they're still there. I wish they still there. European, when they came, we were savage people. We take a shower once a, once a year. We have no running water. We have no roads. We have no electricity. We have no printers. We have no library. We have no schools. We have nothing. The first school was open. It was opened by European. The first printing machine ever entered to the Middle East was made by European. And I should all the world. What are you talking about? So you are mixing things together and mixing things up. When we say Christianity, we mean Jesus, not me. I can be a criminal. Who, who said who said that I cannot be? Are you going to say Christian Prince, he present Jesus? So you are very stupid, Mr. Raymond. And I call you Mr. because Mr. is a sign of a stupidity. Those who love the word Mr., by the way, you know, they like titles. So when you try to compare, first, you are not fair. Secondly, we cannot deny I'm not European. I'm not from, the, from Europe. My eyes is not blue. And European, they occupy my land. And thank you, European, for occupying my land. The Turkish, they occupied the Arab land for hundreds of years. What happened? Rape, kidnapping their women, to the point even there's no trees left. The Turkish, they used to cut the trees and take it all to Turkey. Even those who they are skilled in building, they take them to, 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 to Turkey. Nobody, no builders left in the countries. 
When the Turkish, they go in war, they take all the young men, our family, they take them to war to fight for their war. At least the European, even the one who came in for an ugly reason, empire, as you said, they build the trains, they open hospitals, they make a school, they change the education, they, they made a revolutionary in those savage countries. In Brazil, people, they used to eat each other. In South America. In South America, people, they used to give their babies as a sacrifice for their gods. There's a story of a, uh, of a European man. And by the way, I don't defend, I'm not defending European. I mean, Europe today is full of stupid people. Europe is, 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 you know, is messed up. I mean, go and see what's happening there. A stupid European man, he went to Brazil. He asked for a guide to take him in the jungle. A native, Brazilian. During the trip, they stopped from time to time either to eat or to sleep or to rest. The Brazilian man, he have a book in his hand. He reads from it. It's in his own, his own language. The European man, he do not know what he's reading. So he opened a conversation with him. We said, by the way, what this is book you are reading? We said, oh, this is the Bible. The white man, European man, he laughed at him. He said, <laughs> what? We stopped reading those books from a long time ago. What are you doing, man? Don't waste your time. The Brazilian, who felt very much offended, he ignored the ignorance of the white European man. And they continued their journey. Until they arrived to the point where he, uh, this, is the, this is what he is coming to see. How the people used to live in the jungle. The tribe of this man, who, how he used to live in the ancient time. So they came inside the cave, a huge cave. And inside the cave, they found a lot of human bones. The European man, he asked, the Brazilian man, what is this? Is that like a grave? Was it a grave here or something? The Brazilian, he said, no. Here we used to hunt human and we eat them the stupid European he said to him what are you for real is that true you hunt human being and kill him and then you cook him and then you eat him The European, he could not believe it. The Brazilian, he said, yes. This is what we used to do. The European, he said to him, what happened? Why do you do that anymore? He said, no. If we do it, you will be in my dish right now. So he said to him, so what happened? Why you stop doing this? He said, because of the book you made fun of. It's called the Bible. Because of the book you made fun of, of you, you stupid European white man, you are not in my dish. A few hours ago, he was making fun of this Brazilian for reading such a book. If not that book, they will be eating each other until now. So this is the fruit of a Christ, my friend. The fruit of a Christ is not Napoleon Bonaparte. It's not. Actually, Europe always sponsored the enemy of the Christians in the Middle East. Always. Until now. Trump, he is defending the Muslims in China, but he did not mention one word about taking our Hagia Sophia church in Turkey. More than 85% of Turkey is our land. 
all the Middle East is our land. We are the native. In America, the American, the white American, they took from the native their land. But do you know how they treat them? In America, Indian, they have their own territory. They rule it as if they are kings. Not only that, they never pay tax. Not only that, they receive a lot of money every month as help from the government for their, their territorial areas. What about us, the native in the Middle East, who the Muslims came and took our land? Are we treated differently? Absolutely. We spit at, our women are kidnapped, they burn our churches. Just yesterday, this is Indonesia, they attack a family, they killed the husband, they killed the wife, they killed his two daughters, and they cut them pieces, and they burn the churches, and they burn their houses. So stupid you, talking about them, obviously is hilarious. Whatever European they did, is called bad you did way more worse and i wish european they never left our land because they change a lot of things for good if you go right now to morocco algeria all those countries if you ask them which one you wish the french is staying or you have your algerian president you will see this is why half of the country already in France. I mean, if France is bad, why you are immigrating to France? They left your country. If France is bad, why you are leaving Morocco? France is bad. England is bad. They are empire. Half of Pakistan became now in England. Hypocrisy is amazing and stupidity is something else. When we say Muhammad, we say Islam, we mean Muhammad, not a guy, his name is Muhammad. So if this Muhammad is following the teaching of Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, the founder of Islam, that is Islam then. If he is not, well, he is not a Muslim, then he don't present Islam. Did Muhammad say, kill them wherever you find them? If somebody don't believe in me, kill him? Did he himself kill? How many, how many people Jesus he killed? How many slaves he owned? Zero. How many Muhammad, how many black people he owned? How many women he raped? So we are done with the stupidity. You are a stupid fool and you have no decency. I appreciate what the European did to us. And by the way, why you are using the internet of European? Just dump it, man. The pen you use is European. The phone you use is European. The computer you use is European. Stop dealing with the white men. They are evil. Regardless if they are Christians or Jews or whatever, don't, don't deal with them. This is what you are saying to me. When the Bible says from their fruits, you shall know them. Any human being, he have good fruits. He present the fruit of God. Any human being, he present bad fruit. He present the fruit of the devil. So the stupid you trying to associate a human being behavior with God. You stupid idiot. If we are good, Jesus will not come anyway. The reason he came is to save us from our evil, not because we are good. So when European, they came to the Middle East and I am a Christian and they occupy me occupy my land and by the way when you say like they steal uh, the source and etc all of you are thief if you find the door of your neighbor open and there's nobody there you will go and take his TV just make some some problem you know like some problem in the street and start attacking stores and taking and stealing phones all of you are decent European they are bad there's bad, there's good everywhere. The intention of the man is what make him present a fruit of good tree or bad tree. If a Muslim, he is doing good, he's a nice person. That would go for him too. Jesus said from their fruit, you shall know them. Jesus said, all lies belong to the father of all lies, the devil. 
So when you lie, when you murder, when you kill, when you steal, you are presenting your father, the devil, regardless who you are. White, black, Asian, doesn't matter. When you are good, you present your father, God, our holy God. So people like you, they make me laugh and in the same time vomit. And when you say, by the way, two side supremacist Abrahamic. I mean, do you see how much Abrahamic are supremacist, you idiot? Isn't it Abraham, he married an Egyptian woman? I mean, obviously you are a stupid donkey who do not know what he's talking about. If Abraham is supremacist, he should marry a woman like him. But he marry an Egyptian African. And his son, the older son, is half African. I mean, how stupid a human being can be. I advise you to change your diaper. You can ask your mom. I'm sure she will find you one. Those people really, they make me sick. But anyway, it's fun to spank them, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to download the video. And sorry if I use like some angry words, but I have to use it, what I can do. I mean, number one illness in this earth is a stupid. This is what those people, they learn in school, by the way. You know, the European, they came and European, they, they, they changed the world. That's the truth. The electricity you use now is made by European. Why you use the electricity? You say, I don't want it. I'm going to find myself out. The airplane, the car, the bicycle. Why you don't use a donkey? Stop using this stuff. This is, the, this is European stuff. They are evil. Why you are using the internet? Huh? You're supporting Uncle Sam? The founder of the internet? <laughs> they hate them and they lick their shoes. They hate them and they smell, they smell their socks. So please give us more. Stupid you. Don't get married. Your wife, she will cheat on you second day. The second she see how stupid her husband she will say, stupid I got, stupid I leave. Nothing to be sorry about. Again, thank you very much for being here. We are, I'm not defending European again, I, I, but I don't like stupidity. All nations, if they can control each other, they will control each other. All nations. Ask yourself now, if Erdogan, he can control the world, what he would do? In certain time, the African, they were enslaving African and they enslaving even the white people. The king of Egypt, he came to Israel and he enslaved all the nation of Israel. But they are African. Yes, they enslave the Jews. They took the whole nation as if they are goats. And almost the Jews are extinct. They, move, they removed the whole nation from the land. They took their chicken, they took their goat, they took the women, they took the children. I mean, nobody left. The same as the Babylon. So why only the white man is a problem? And by the way, every single black person who became a slave in the time of the modern Europe, if we can call it, was captured by the North African Muslims and sold either in Morocco or in Libya or in Algeria and imported to the white man in Europe. But nobody blamed the white Arab North African. They blamed the white and white European. Hypocrisy. Go right now and search about who is the slavery sellers, where is the biggest market was. Actually, until now, if you go right now, they will show you videos. This is just last week about the slaves in Libya, they are beating them, whipping them, raping them. The biggest center of slavery right now as we speak is in the Middle East. It's in Libya, it's in Mauritania. Do you know how many, how many slaves in Mauritania right now as we speak? 
slavery in Saudi Arabia, slavery in Emirates, slavery not long time ago, you know, the Emirati, they used to bring babies, children from Thailand to enjoy the camel race. And then a human rights start complaining, they bring a baby, he is just three, four years old, they put him in the top of the camel, risking his life just to watch a show. And now they are using uh, electronic Barbie after many complain of the European stupidity is amazing and some people make me sick thank you God bless you download the video before they take it down as you know this is your brother Christian Prince who is complaining about the European they made a nice computer for me electricity we use in the old days to clean our bum with the three rocks European they made us forget about those good things we used to be full of lies we used to take a shower once a year European created shampoo shame on you electricity scary man do you know how many people die by electricity cars do you know how many die by the cars every year that's plain the European so we forget everything they do good and we remember only what we want to remember and again I am not a European but I'm very thankful for European people even though European people today they are not thankful for what they did and this is another sign of stupidity too you will find the European teaching the European kids that European their father they were bad and ugly we were bad we were disgusting that's what they teach their kids in California <laughs> and by the way again if you don't like to live between the white people European people leave I came all the way to America because what because the white people are evil because European people are evil oh yeah I was living in heaven in the Middle East it's heaven there European are bad <laughs> leave European immigrate Africa is empty Afghanistan is empty Pakistan is empty Saudi Arabia desert is empty leave the European stay away from them they are bad and the funny when you say Christian European as Europe, a European there's nobody there except Christians and they have the Bible in their hand focus on the Bible in their hand Coward, ignorant, and stupid. Three things will make you a king. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon. Bye-bye.